Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to create a chronometer in Java. So I previously cr imported these classes, action event and action listener for the event. And the timer is the base class to create our chronometer. I have created this chronometer class, the constructor, and this is the main method where I create the object. So I'm gonna start by creating three integer variables for the seconds, minutes, and for the hours, and I'm going to initialize them in the constructor. So seconds equals zero, minutes equals zero, hours equals zero. Now, for the chronometer, I'm going to create a object class of the timer class. I'm going to name this chronometer and I'm also going to initialize in the constructor chronometer equal to new timer and this class takes two parameters the first is it's the, uh, the minimum period of time the chronometer runs so in this case it's seconds if we want the chronometer to run only on minutes or on hours but in this case it's going to be on run in seconds and and this parameter is measured in milliseconds so we have to put 1000 milliseconds which is equivalent to one second the second parameter it's going to be the action listener class so I'm gonna make my own class the the action listener, so I'm going to put this and obviously we need to implement the action listener interface and we need to implement this uh, abstract method in here next thing we're going to do is to start the chronometer so chronometer dot start okay so each time the one second pass uh, this uh, method is going to be trigger so we're gonna call this method each second so I'm gonna say seconds plus plus and I'm gonna say if seconds it's equal to 60 which means we reach uh, the minute so I'm gonna say minutes plus plus so we add one to the minutes and we reset the seconds variable so seconds equals zero the same way with the with the minutes if minutes is equal to 60 we reach the hour so hours plus plus and we reset the minutes to zero okay we got this our parameter is ready I'm gonna print so we can see in action I'm gonna print uh, hours plus just gonna concatenate this here minutes okay this this can be worked and seconds okay let's go ahead and run this nothing shows okay the thing here it's when uh, when the program ends the a second haven't passed yet that's why it doesn't print anything so I'm gonna create a infinite loop here I'm gonna try to run again and there we go each second it's printing 
now that's it for this part in the next part I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually display this chronometer into the screen using the J frame class so that's it thanks for watching